We are here again. We are here again. Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, a full control. We are here again. We are here again. Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, a full control. Majara Brahan Baba Bamona Shiribaka. We are here again before his holy presence, Makada. We are here again, Majari Brala Lamakunda. Savior, we are here again. Adona, we are here again. We are here again. We are here again. Omega, we are here again. Elohim, we are here again. We are here again to the glory of God. We are here again by the power of His might and majesty. We are here again to speak the word of God and word of love. We are here again by the authority in the word of God. We are here again by the power of His supernatural greatness and goodness. We are here again. That Christ's name shall be glorified, honored, adored forevermore. We are here again. That Jesus of Nazareth shall be glorified, praised, and blessed. We are here again by the power of his dignity and reality. We are here again by the power of his honor, might, and majesty. We are here again. That his goodness shall be seen in our life. We are here again to hear the word of power and word of life. We are here again that the reality of God shall be seen around the battle. We are here again, Father. We are here again. Speak and minister to us in Jesus' name. Father, I give you praise and worship you for another opportunity. Thank you for my brethren all over the world that are listening to the message of life. Blessed be your name, O God. I worship you. I honor and adore you. You are highly lifted up. You are highly exalted and glorified. And let that glory be above all the earth. You are highly lifted up. You are highly exalted. You are highly glorified. Thank you for the great answer. Hallowed be your name forevermore. Be that glorified and praised, and let that glory be above all the earth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we will speak and minister to us. And Christ's name be honored in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. How are you doing today? Thank God for the gift of life. Thank God for making you to be alive in the land of the living. May his name alone be praised, exalted, and glorified in Jesus' name. It's not easy to be alive. It's not easy to be in the land of the living. That is all by the grace of God. A lot of children of God are panicking, you know, shivering, this and this and that, Antichrist will do this and this and that. that. The Bible said the man of sin is here. But there are his agendas that he planned that will not work until rapture occurs. Are you hearing me? The Bible said because of the church, because of the presence of the church, the church is the highest power and the highest authority in the whole universe. Are you hearing me? A lot of people have been panicking over some issues. They were reason with their brain, this and that, that, that. You are all in the hands of the Lord. All you need to do is to package yourself for the Lord. Keep yourself for the Lord. Bible says in Him we live, we move, and we have our being. Make sure you are walking through the territory and through the, uh, the, 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 the boundary of Jesus, of the inside of Jesus. Are you hearing me? You cannot help it. The war system must come. Are you hearing me? In him we live, we move, and we have our being. That's what the Bible told us. So many children of God are restless. They are this of what Antichrist will do on them. He cannot do you anything except to give your life to him. Even when the rapture occurs, the Antichrist will not force you to take the mark. Are you hearing me? He's not going to bring you and put the mark on you. No, he's not going to do that. No, he will woe you if you refuse. He will use punishment terror and whatever. Some people will refuse it and still die. So if there's any time to be serious in the Lord, be serious right now. My brothers and sisters, if there's any time to hide yourself in Christ, if there's any time to live a clean life, if there's any time to live a pure life, if there's any time to live a sanctified life, if there's any time to live a purified life, it must be now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Stop troubling yourself. You cannot help it. The Lord has made it that you didn't live 200 days ago or 300 days ago. The Lord made it that you are going to live right now, right now, right now, right now. So stop troubling yourself. 
queuing into the system of God. Forget about a lot of teaching that is coming up about the Antichrist, the way it's going to squeeze the children of God. Yeah, many people will die. The pun Trump cannot be a the punishment. But look at what God is doing. Any of his child now that he sees that cannot face the tribulation and cannot face, he will allow them to go home. They will go home right now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So don't stop troubling yourself. He will, he, will, he will do this, he will do that. God will give you grace. Anything that God allows to happen to you will be the level of reward you're going to have in eternity. Stop panicking. Realize the world is not owned by you. It's created by God. He said that a plan, the vaccine will be enforced on everybody. They will uh, squeeze your money in the bank. This and this and this and that. There are limits to what they can do. There are limits to where they can go. The church is still here. Until the church leaves the earth. The Antichrist will not have enough reason to do what he wants to do. Are you hearing me? The Bible said the man of sin is here already. But because of the presence of the church, he will not exhibit. He can say all this plan, but, uh, uh, but executing them is not possible. Is somebody hearing me? Come on, serve God in holiness and righteousness. Stop serving him in fear. The fear of people. Some people are not even bringing their picture on Facebook. They're afraid that somebody might see their picture and do this thing with their picture. Child of God going to heaven while living in fear. In Facebook, their pictures are not there. In, 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 in WhatsApp, their pictures are not there. Anyway, no, 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 no. I don't want anybody to do this. No, with my No, no, that is fear. You are more than them. Bible said, it told Jeremiah, said, look at them, don't fear their eyes. We are here. Any day he said we're finished, we'll go. Are you hearing me? Even the last two prophets that is going to preach the great word of God. The Bible said they will later, they will be so powerful and great. He said that God will not even leave the church without comfort. But the Antichrist will one day overcome him. And they will be cheering for three days. They will leave their cause, dancing and playing and this thing, sharing gifts. But one day they will rise again. The whole world will be in terror. And they will rapture. They will come up. By then rapture has occurred. Is somebody hearing me? Stop living in fear. Stop living in fear. Stop living in fear. Bible says fear cast out. You know, the, the love cast out fear. Whenever somebody is fearing, he's not yet made perfect in love. For fear have torments. If you are living in fear, you don't have you are you are not made perfect in the love of Christ. Tell God to love you more. Tell God to love you more. And tell God you want to love him more so that you'll be made perfect. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you every praise and worship forevermore. Today we're talking about part 16 of the world, perilous time, signs of the last days or signs of the end. We're today talking part 16. You see, we have started from part 1, part 2, but we still have up to, uh, 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 what I'm saying, it may be up to 20 or more parts. We know what will take our time to break the just one by one. These are the events of the last day. Avoid all these things happening to you. Yeah, avoid them happening to you. Le la la last time we discussed about traitors. Traitors. Some people are crying the way they've been tra treated in life, the way they've been betrayed. But have you not betrayed anybody? If you cry the way you are betrayed, also cry and ask God to forgive you for the people you have betrayed. I've told him, Lord, out of sleep of tongue, out of purposefulness, out of willing, anybody I have betrayed. I'm very sorry about that. Let God forgive me. I want to make heaven. I want to make heaven again. I pray you go to heaven. I pray we'll go together to heaven in Jesus' name. Here is not our home. We're in another place. Just like so many of you in different countries. Even if you have naturalized there, you still know that that's not where the place of your origin. So we're only existing here, but we are not meant permanently for here. We will die one day and go to where we belong. Either heaven or hell. But I pray you belong to heaven. I belong to heaven. That God will make it a good place for all that will go to heaven. In Jesus' name. Today we're talking about Hedi. Hedi. Today the Bible said the last day they shall be Hedi. They are going to be Hedi. Oh my God. That's what is going to happen. When you talk of the word Hedi. It's so intoxicating. <laughs> what did you drink? How can you do this type of thing? That's the word Hedi. You know? <laughs> you may say, what really happened to you? Eh? Oh no, influence or influential, <laughs> electrifying. That means the level, the way things will go contrary, the way or, or, or the, the, the opposite of what you're asked to do will be embraced. They say, ah, ah, it will be so intoxicating. 
so influential, so willful. Ah, somebody doing something bad and doing it with every enthusiasm. Doing it with every enthusiasm. Ah. But, what, what, but what happened? Ah, ill advised, doing the contrary. That's what the word, Eddie. Rash. My God. Why is this generation like this? It is the happening of the last days. I pray that your children should not be heady and mine should not be heady, that they should serve God. Let's start on time to train them. There are people that started on time training for their children and pray yet. The children are heady. One woman yesterday, when I watched her in social media, she was talking about how her 20 years old son went and hang themselves. He said, this boy is out of himself, will behave stranger, will be so, so stubborn, so heady, cannot be put under control, he, he so cannot, he's have been influenced by a lot of things, contrary. He doesn't take instruction, he doesn't take any correction. Mm. He said, the, 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 the younger one came and was calling her, mommy, come and see what this person is doing. The children don't know. The woman said, this boy and his trouble. Before the woman could come out, he has hanged himself. That should not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Let's do all we can do. There are a lot of children today, even from Christian family, even from pastors out, even from evangelists out, even from bishops out, even from that very, very heady. Very, very, very heady. Very stubborn. Outside to that will of God. You say, ah, they, they, when they behave, you won't even know that there was a time they, that, that they've even had the word of God. The way they will go to the extreme, the, the, the way they will go to the extreme of opposite of what their father or their mother is teaching. It, it, it will so baffle you, the surprises will be there. Even the raw sinner in the world might not go to that level. Well, you know the one that will be hearing the gospel. Why do you go to extreme? Why do you go to this level again? Oh my God. So reckless. Careless. These are all the word heady. They'll be so careless. The way they will use things. Sometimes when you ask them, teaching them to cook, thinking you are doing good. By the time, what you use in cooking one, uh, four or five dishes, they'll use it in cook one, in cooking one food dish. <laughs> And they will not even feel it. They will not at all. Why? What's happening to us? May God show us mercy. This is the generation we have seen ourselves. This is where we have found ourselves. And what can we do about it? There's nothing we can do than to listen to God. You will call your child now. Teach him the ABCD of the God. But the time they will behave. Call three, four children now. Tell them, don't fight yourself. Your brothers and sisters, you pray with them. And then after some time, you see them fighting. I will kill you. I will do this with you. Where does this influence come from? Sometime from school. Sometime from the films they watched. Sometime from the association they are keeping. Let's do all we could. But it will be so, it will be so painful. Very, very heartbreaking that a woman, a man would do all he could. And at the end of the day, the children will make hell and not make in heaven. Chai! Let it not be our portion. Let it not be our portion. Let it not be our portion in Jesus' name. Let the mighty hand of God, the mighty hand of correction, the mighty hand of visitation visit us and let God Almighty show us mercy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And may his name alone be glorified in our life. Hallelujah. It's the generation we are into. Uh, I don't know. Heady. Generation that can never do thing free for you. I know in those days, when we were little children, somebody's car may fell into a dish and they will come and push the car. After pushing, we'll go our way. But today, before this generation will help you push your card, you beat prize with them. Uh -huh. How much are you going to pay so that we push it out? We are in the house. We are going somewhere. Yeah. Because this is a lazy generation that refuses to do anything. 
So anything they see, they use it as money opportunity. Hmm. May God show us mercy that our children will be different children. Our marriage will be a different one. Look at what's happening in marriage. Hey, the, then because the boy have been trained in a stubborn way. Because the girl have been trained in a stubborn way. They carry the stubbornness into marriage. And today what is happening to our marriages? A stubborn boy and a stubborn girl getting married. And that is where you summarize stubbornness. That is where you summarize headiness. May God have mercy on the generation. On us. May God show us mercy. What are we seeing in this generation? Jesus said this thing will happen. This is the happenings of the last days. This is the last thing, the happening of the last day. In the book of Isaiah, you may say, oh, why is he talking without talking, getting to a, a scripture? Yes. We're talking about Hedi. Hedi. That's where we have found ourselves. In the book of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 4. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 4. As we're talking this, continue repenting and continue repenting on behalf of your children. Continue praying for your children. There are things you fear that your children cannot do. There are things you say, no, 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 my children can't do that. You don't know the expert in doing that. A young lady, a copper, she came to serve in this land for your service. I never knew her. I've never seen her from Adam. But because she's my wife's school, I made up my mind. Let's see what we can do. My wife was telling me government is not paying them the way they're supposed to do and this and that. We were making some provisions for her. I never saw her from Adam. You know, I gave my wife money and said, give to her. I gave my wife money and said, give to her. I, gave, I said, God will bless her. By the time we met, ah, she was born from a Christian family. But the kind of experience she has beats, the kind of way she was speaking, I was just like this looking at her. Some of the things they tell me, say, ah. That was exactly what she was doing. She said, your children, they're in the university. You think the way they come home is the way they behave in the campus. This and this and that and that. Begin to tell me what children of men of God and women of God will do in the campus. Sometimes pay your children surprise visit in the campus. Pay them surprise sudden visit. Don't tell them you're coming. Pay them visit and know if that you're teaching at home, they're doing it in the school. Pay them a surprise visit in the boarding school. In their, in, their, in their secondary school level, they may still be controlled, but in the university, pay them a certain visit. One woman said, he paid the child a certain visit in the university. The woman said, when he saw the child, he couldn't believe it was her child. Hey! She said she was, the kind of dress she was wearing, men dress, painting all over, all over, all over. She said, my God. But this girl will play an angel when she comes home. But devil, and devil acted outside home. So, Chai! Mm. The woman came and legalized everything. He said, trouser, nakedness, everything I legalized. Go ahead. So that you, you don't live a hypocritical life. I told the woman, it's not the best. He said, but what should you do? So this is a hypocrite already. A different life in the campus and a different life when she's coming home. And the time it was legalized, come and see the lady. Hey! If she dare pass you mistakenly, if there's anything, if you're wearing clean white, either painting will it just dirty you off. No wonder men are dying quick. When they rob all this cosmetic made of all these chemicals, men will go into sucking, oh, I love you in the name of that, and the thing will go down on them. May God show us mercy. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 4. From verse 4, we're, we're going to read through verse 6. What could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done it? Hmm? What do you say, these children? What could be done that have not been done? What could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done to it? Wherefore, when I look that it should bring forth great, brought it forth white grapes. It's supposed to bring grape. He bring a wide one. He said, look at what he's going to do. This is God talking of, uh, and now go to. I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. Oh, God, mercy. He said, I will, and now go to, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away the hedge thereof. Go 
Man have been protecting said the age. No need of protecting them. Not like the woman I told you that legalized it for say, since you don't want to use your brain, do what you can to want to do. Don't be tired of correcting your children. No matter how old they are. Even if you're 90 and your children is still 50, 60, and still is behaving, keep correcting them. And now go to, I'll tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away the hedge thereof, and the ears shall be beaten up. I'm breaking down the wall thereof, and it shall be trodden down. It shall be trodden down, verse 8, and I will lay it west. It shall not be pruned, nor digged, but there shall come up brass and thorns. And I will also command the cloud that they rain no more upon it. Oh, for look at verse 7. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah, his people, uh, uh, his pleasant plan, and he looked for judgment, but behold, oppression. For righteousness, but behold, a cry. Have you seen it? So we are, the, 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 the world is the vineyard, and me and you, we are the, the, the grapes that are supposed to bring forth good fruits. Look at the kind of fruit we are bearing. Look at the kind of fruit we are bringing. Somebody was talking to me. Every time you quarrel, I said, don't, don't be so nervous. Don't be offended. This quarreling with you and your wife every time, you mean that uh, you do it in the presence of your children? You say, yes, now. Your children will be seeing you quarreling. You have destroyed the children. They see you quarreling. They see you calling your wife idiot. They see the wife calling the, uh, the, the husband stupid. Hey! Don't you know what their brain is? You are everlasting cementing it in their brain, in their memory. You have destroyed them. Can't one of you be wise? And said, no, for the children's sake. For the children's sake. The Lord is coming. He needed something good, but evil. He said, God, don't let God abandon you. God has abandoned a lot of people already. God have abandoned a lot of people already. And that is why they go into sin without major. You think, ah, you want to carry Bible? They have gone beyond carrying Bible. Somebody backslided and went into destruction, into womanizing, into immorality. He cannot sleep with one woman alone. He can sleep with two, three of them at a time. Is it a new thing? Bible said there's nothing new under the earth. A man considered of backsliding and the dead on the second time he asked himself, if I come, if I backslide now, is that a new sin that I will commit? Every sin I'm going to commit has been committed already. If it is fornication or adultery, I will not be the first. I will commit it on top of the one that I've been committing it. If it is uh, drunkenness, I will not be the first. I will drink on top of people that have been drinking. Reasons begin to come into, come into himself. Let me follow the narrow way. Sister, follow the narrow way. Brother, follow the narrow way. I will tell you signs. So these are the things that will happen. Oh my goodness, stubbornness, stubbornness, heady, heady, heady. What are we saying about it? God himself is not happy about us generally. And what is happening? God of heaven and earth is not happy and not pleased with us. For they are gone up. Look at Hosea chapter 8 verse 9. Hosea chapter 8 verse 9. Oh, oh. Okay, Hosea chapter 8 verse 9. Hosea chapter 8 verse 9. For they are gone up to Assyria, a white ass along by himself. Ephraim have hired lovers. Yea, though they have hired among the nations, now will I gather them, and they shall sorrow a little for the burden of the kingdom of princes. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Chapter 8, verse 9. For they are gone up to Assyria. I mean, we have gone to borrow. We have gone to borrow a lot of negative things from the world. I was in a meeting today of pastors, men of God. That was what they wanted to introduce about the dead. They had to honor the dead and say, is it biblical? Is it in the Bible? If it is that, show us an example of the people. Moses died. What did the Israelites do? How did they mourn him? You see to that, when the apostles died, how do they mourn him? When Stephen was still, how do they mourn him? Let's go biblical way. A lot of us were offended. I said, we must do it the Bible way or I walk away from here. If you want to honor the dead in such a way, I have no pleasure in honoring the dead. 
I can have pity my brother die because one day I will die. I can have pity that my sister that one day I'm going to die. But for me to really bow for the dead in the name of silence for 10 minutes, 5 minutes, and bow and to speak one thing or the other. I said, no, it's out of order. The Bible said, would you do more like the world? When your brother dies, oh, you have the heaviness in your heart. You can cry. It does no crime. You have lost a beloved one. There's no crime. So go far in shaving their head. So go far in putting my Bible said, don't do all these things. Don't mourn for the dead that way. Somebody, a young lady called me one time. If I can go to their place and pray for their family. I said, what is happening there? He said, they're doing one year remembrance of the mother. I said, your mother? You don't know if he's in heaven, you don't know if he's in hell, and you want to go and do one year remembrance of your mother. I remember one day a young lady was in my office whom God has given revelation of hell and heaven. And somebody was calling her from London. I said, please remember my mother's memorial service is coming, so, 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 10 years memorial service. And after that, the young lady spoke to me and said, this woman, they want to do her memorial service. If you see the way she's tarnishing in her, I remember that, in, I saw her in her. I remember the way she was crying and crying and crying. No mercy. She was crying like a baby. And the children there, yeah, instead of using the money to help the poor, the needy, sponsor the gospel, they want to use this scratching on the go and repent the grave of their mother. I remember their mother, the useless life we lived here on earth. Let me tell you and let me talk to you. Anytime you're remembering the dead and doing memory of the dead, they will take that dead man to a deeper part of hell where fire will be burning him or her again and they'll be telling him or her look at how useless you were on earth and they're remembering you for nothing thinking that you have lived a life not knowing that you are wicked not knowing that you're gone and gone forever stop remembering the dead stop honoring the dead when somebody's dead oh that in a, you know when somebody's dead let's go about it the bible says when somebody's dead in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9, from verse 5, 6, and 7, the Bible says his love, his set thread, his uh, everything initiative, they have gone and they have gone forever. Let's not be heady. L let me talk, let me tell this, let me tell you this. Most of the way we are heady and the way we talk and the way we behave, that is exactly the way, the, 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 the way we felt our children are behaving most of the time, that's the way we are to God. I told you some months ago about a young man that came to my office, a man of God, a pastor. He came, was crying. He came, was crying and talking to me and telling me how his son ran away from his house for about six months, getting to seventh month. He was crying and said, there's no clue. He said, my, his son was about 19 years. He woke him up around eight in the evening and said, let us pray. My son said, a son of a pastor said, Prayer, 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 prayer every time. Prayer, prayer, prayer every time. He become annoyed and walked out of the house. They looked for him in the morning thinking that he was in the neighborhood. He was not there in the neighborhood. For throughout the day, they couldn't see him. For one month, one week, they couldn't see him. One month, they couldn't see him. Two months, three months. Nobody can even say, look at where I saw him or something like that. That's the only son of the man of God. He has that only son. Oh my God. He didn't know what to do. How can I do it? How could he be this way? How could I be so displaced? This and this and that. He was troubled in his heart. When he came here, I said, okay, let me pray. Let me pray. Let me pray together. And we pray together. While we were praying, the Lord said, the way you are crying about your child was the way I was crying for you. You left me. You are a man of God. I told you to feed my flock. And you fed. You started the work of the ministry. And it is hard in you. It is difficult in you. And that you left the work of the ministry. And then you left the work of the ministry. You went into business. And you were in business for seven years. The way you are crying for your baby now is the way I'm crying for you those days. Thank God you came back. The Lord said, I've forgiven you. The man of God was crying like a baby. Gentlemen and ladies, this work of the ministry is not easy. Sometimes you feel like quitting. Truly speaking, if you are a man of God, called of the Lord in full-time ministry, and you have never one time felt like quitting, and have missed situation that warning you or putting you to quit, you have not really started the ministry. I know in those days, I was in tears. That is why all these people that God have been using to sponsor men of God, to help men of God, encourage men of God. There are so many of us that are wearing fine dresses today because somebody is there. Wearing fine wash because somebody is there. Wearing fine this because somebody is there. Eating with the family because somebody is there. It's not like the Western world where you'll be working and doing this in Africa. we based in full-time ministry. I remember in those days when God called me to be an evangelist. Oh my God. I have no church. I have no, I had no church. I had no sponsor then. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All in the morning I'll pray and look up. 
Oh, in the afternoon, I pray and look up to him. And the Lord become faithful to me. It was not an easy road. It was not an easy road. It was not an easy road. How many dresses have I then? How many trousers do I have then? And this generation want to do it. They can't wait. They don't want to pass through the same training again. They bring candle and this end and put this and put this together and do it their own way. Instead of doing it the way of the Lord. It has not been an easy way. The man of God cried. He said, that it was too difficult for me. And I quit. Let me tell you, the Bible said, He that fell in the day of adversary, his strength is small. I'm praying every day that my strength will not be small. I'm praying that your strength will not be small, so that you will not quit in Jesus' name. Anything you're doing for God, keep doing it for the Lord. In my, in my, in there's a vow you must have made for God. God, I'll be giving you this every month. Sometimes it may shock you. Sometimes it may do as if it's not continue, continue, continue. Sometimes it, it, if you give out that one, it seems that you don't have any more. It seems that they continue, 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 continue. You're going to reap them if you don't faint. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Child of God, man of God, woman of God, continue. Some of my friends will tell me, eh, I feel like quitting. When we were in Bible college, one of my friends, a brother, he told me, I said, if it is the king of my town that mandated me to come to this Bible college, I would have quit. No, I wouldn't continue. Do you know the way we are suffering in Bible college? Sometimes we eat three or four times in a week. We are not fasting. Anytime you're opportune to get beans, you see beans, eh? If you're cooking beans in the Bible college in those days, that is something years ago when we were in Bible college, if you're cooking beans, you pour water and pour water, put onions uh, uh, in the, your bean, put salt, put oil, put everything. You pour enough water. When it's about to be done, you bring it out and pour the water of the beans out so that you can use the remaining water to cook it and you finish. That water you pour out, you use it to eat, to, to swallow. It become your soup, oh. It become your soup. These are some of the things we suffered. Very early in the morning, even in cold season, we were drinking gari. Even if you see gari to soak. Even if you see gari to drink. When it is too cold for us to drink with cold water, you boil hot water. And pour gari in it. And pour enough water. And you'll be drinking it, drinking it. Let something be inside the stomach. These are the levels. This are major. And God was there trying to train us. God was there trying to prove to us. That is why we are not the same thing with this generation that before they come to gospel, they will tell you, no. You know, hey, the generation. Hey, the, hey, the generation. You know, the generation that will tell you, before I come to your program, this and this and that, they called me some time ago uh, uh, for a program at Aba and asked me, Aba is a city in Nigeria here, you know, in the eastern part of Nigeria. It's a big city. They're asking me, what is your what? Tell us your hotel accommodation, your feeding, your transportation, collect all these things, and tell us your word. Let's know if we can bring you. I told them I was not brought up that way. I can use my last money to transport myself there. I can sleep in my car and preach Jesus of Nazareth. I am not like that, and I cannot be like that. This generation will not change me. There are so many places I go to, I don't ask them for money, I don't go before understanding God will bless me through other sources. There are good-hearted being men and women that God is using to sponsor real genuine men of God. And they cannot even brag about it, they don't make noise about it. There are people that God may lay, oh yeah, pay part of your tithe here, or pay all the tithe to this person, yeah, send this and send this, and they're doing it, and the work of God is smoothly going on. You tell me that God will forget you, he will not forget you. We were talking about heady generation, heady. Heady generation. Look at what are the signs of the headiness. Number one sign is that will it not listen to instruction. One of the signs of the heady generation. The generation that is so stubborn. The generation that is outside themselves. The generation that is so stubborn. One of the distance is that they will not listen to any man. They will not listen to instruction of any man. No, no, no. Look at what the Bible said in the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 30. Romans chapter 1 verse 30. But batters, haters of, good, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. They'll be, they'll be inventors of evil things. They don't invent good things. No, 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 no. Because of what? There's a kind of overwhelmness in it. Ha! Ah, what kind of generation is this? Look, let me, let me tell you what happened. I was in a program in Anambra State. And a very small girl of 14, small girl of 14 years walked in. But if you say, you may think she's above 14. When she walked in, we were in the counseling room. I was seeing darkness. I was seeing devil. I was seeing demon. I was seeing things that were following her. 
Most of these people are not alone. As you're not alone, Holy Ghost is accompanying you. Most of these people are not alone. Keep on doing house deliverance in your house every day. Say, God, I deliver my children. I deliver this house. Every month, do have cleansing. Every power, monitoring power, everything in my house, get out, get out. Even spirit of, of a sleeping, spirit of stubbornness, sleep, spirit of weakness, get out, get out, get out of my house. Wash them out of your house. Tell them to go. Keep on doing deliverance in your house so that nothing keep affecting you or affecting your children. So when this girl came in, she didn't tell me anything. I said, the Lord said, you are a raw sinner. Why? Why? I told her. She started crying. I said, walk out of this place. How can you be living in such a sin? I was watching her. She cried and said, can God give me, show me mercy? I said, walk out. She walked out. I allowed her. Getting to the door, I called her back. She came back crying. A girl of 14 years. I said, why are you so wrong? What and what? The kind of demon and power of darkness I see that is clouding you. You're clouded with evil. He said, yes. Um, he said, yes. Um, I lived a rough life. A girl of 14. She's still in secondary school. said she lived a rough life. I said, what do you do? Hate the generation. That is when they do. They overdo evil. She said, um, there's these people that call Gideonites. They used to send Bible into schools. He said, when they send Bible to write the New Testament, small New Testament, we'll collect it from them. And when they go, we'll tear the New, New Testament page by page and use it to write marijuana in their hemp. Hmm? We we'll use it, cannabis. They will use it to write cannabis and they will be smoking it. Hey, a girl of 14 smoking in cannabis in the head. I was looking at her. You use Bible. So there's no manner of lie we don't tell. A girl of 14 telling me she has committed abortion twice. It was just like she broke down into tears. Thank God she gave her life to Christ. But do you know funny thing again? By the time she went to the parents said that, we have a traditional church. We have a church where you belong. You cannot leave us and go to that place and go to that church again. This are that. Hey! A girl that was already going astray that Jesus brought back. The father and the mother now come and begin to give instruction. If it is not Roman Catholic church, you forget about going to church. Any day we see you with these people that carry God, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is the savior. Stop giving these stupid restrictions on your children. Allow them to worship God in purity, in holiness and righteousness. Number one is that they will be, they will not, the number one is that they will not listen to instruction. That's science, one of the science of it. Have you not told your children, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, I will not do it, 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 I will not do it. Sometimes you may be too fortunate, you may not have such children. Who will look at you and say, I will not do it. But keep monitoring them too. Number two. They will not take correction. Yay! Take correction and say, what will happen. Who be you? That will correct them. They will not take correction for any reason. When you talk, they are already talking. When you are talking, they may keep quiet. Their heart is hardened. Their heart is hardened. Look at what the Titus chapter 1 verse 16 says. Hey, Titus 1 and 16, the Bible say, they profess that they know God, but in works, they deny him, being abominable, disobedient unto every good work, reprobate. <laughs> oh, God of mercy. We ask you for mercy. Parents, let me advise you, don't allow any of your child to kill you. You, have, you know you have been giving them powerful instruction. You know you've been directing them and channeling them before God in prayers. Don't die because of them. And these children don't know anything. They don't know that any of this thing they are doing is definitely falling on their parents. 
Like the, the woman, the son committed suicide. I pray your child will never think of suicide and will never commit suicide in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hmm. Before you understand it, the woman said, it is not even these children, that it is him now. It is her now that the thing has fallen off. Do you know there are a lot of powerful men of God, a lot of powerful women of God that have preached the word of God round about, but their children become mess and disgrace to the gospel. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Amen, my sister and Kechi Jehovah. God bless you. Oh my goodness. We will not be reproached. Makala Rabrahim Dori Ba 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 Ba. We will not be. This reproach will not come from our family. Do you know what baffling thing about these children know? And the headiness. Do you know what baffling thing about them? They, ha they have three stages in life. Number one stage is that when you will manage them, you beat them, you handle them, you caution them. That's number one stage. Number two stage is that when they will be not handling themselves, they'll be managing themselves. If you train them well, this and that, then number three stage hey, is that when they will manage themselves and manage you. They are managing themselves and they are managing you. You are weak. You are old. You can. You are no more strong as you used to be. I pray by the time it will be their turn to manage us. By the time it will be their turn to manage us, that God must have broken them and put in them great power of God and great zeal in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is why I kept telling everybody, be the kind of Christian you want your children to be. That kind of children, uh, Christian you want your children to be, be it now. Be that kind of child of God now, 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 now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please and please and please be that type of child of God. That the mercy of God will be seen upon our life. So many people have preached. Oh. And before you understand it, the children spoil. But I make a decree in the name of Jesus Christ, another the son of the living God. Our children will not destroy the good work we have done. Rather, they will come and add their own good part. And the gospel will be elevated in their generation in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. God is a living God. God is a loving God. God is a great God. They will manage you, will manage them, they will manage themselves and manage you and themselves. That's when it is rough. You that is looking at me now, when lad did you see your mother? When lad did you communicate with your father? When lad did you communicate with your mother? These are people that pampered you, that carried you. And when we're talking about heady generation, the generation are very heady, very stubborn, you feel that it doesn't concern you. What are you doing to your parents? What have you sent to them? How are you taking care of them? Is it that little stipend you're sending to them every month that you feel that they can live with it? These are people that spend all. Your mother was able to die. That time you were sick, your mother sold almost everything, went naked to make sure that you are there. Yeah. Why? 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 May God show us mercy. Let's not be born again and become stupid. Remember your parents, whether they are born again or they are not born again. Remember those people that were there at the early time, talking to you, sharing you up, and making you who you are today. Maybe because nobody had to train you in the university. And before you understand it, you took a decision that because that nobody trained you in the university and nobody was part of your university, today you're somebody, you're not helping anybody. You are heady. You are stubborn. It's not supposed to be. 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 May God help us. Number one, I told you, they will not listen to instruction. Number two, I, tell, I told you, they will not take correction. No, 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 you're not talking to them. But may God break the heart of our children. Even our children in the Lord. There are ones you have adopted in your heart. They become your children in the Lord. Instead of them to follow the word of righteousness, because they know you love them so much and they're close to you, they become unnecessarily stubborn and disappoint you. May you not be such a disappointed uh, disappointment. May you not be such a disappointment to any man of God, any woman of God, any father, any mother that have fathered you or that have brought you up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
May you never be, may you never be. May you never be, may you never be. May you never be in Jesus' name. Number three is that they will not have remorse. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They don't have remorse. You know, in our generation, you do so, oh, I'm sorry about that. They don't know how to say, I'm sorry. They are not remorseful. They cannot be remorsed. I saw a girl from a very poor family. I pleaded with a woman that is okay, that God is blessing. I said, please, this woman, child, the father is dead. Take care of the child. Please, please. I pleaded with the woman. The woman said, that you are giving me this money. I said, please, please, please. She's my daughter in the Lord. She took over the lady. I was taking care of the girl. Taking care of the girl. One day, they get to do something stupid, something very foolish. I took the phone. I pleaded with the girl. I scolded. I said, why did you do this? Come on, go back to the madam. Your madam and tell him, mommy, I'm sorry. He said, daddy, I, I'm sorry. I cannot say that. I don't know how to say I'm sorry. I've not told somebody I'm sorry before. If I say it, I don't know how it will look like in my mouth. A small girl you're feeding morning, afternoon, night, oh. You're paying school fees, so you're buying clothes for. Said he don't know how to say sorry. Do you know my phone was still on? My phone was still on. I was calling her. She said, I'm sorry, I can't do that. Sorry, I can't do that, daddy. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Oh, my God. For the next 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, my phone was on. My airtime was burning. And she never did that. And the auntie said, just to tell you who she is, please give me back my phone. She handed over the phone to auntie and get to her room and lock up the door and slept off. If it were you, will you do it in your generation? You see what is happening in this generation? But this is the generation that we trend. Is in a generation we trend? Is in a generation we trend? Look at how they are. Then, the, 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 the generation they will trend, what will it look like? May God share us mercy. Oh, Lord Jesus, come quick. Come quick, Lord. The mess is so much. The mess here on earth is so much. They will not have remorse. A little boy was sent by somebody to go and buy something, pepper, and gave him some money and said, buy so, so, so. He went and used all the money and buy pepper. When he came back, the woman was calling Why did you do that? He said, because I even have time to go and buy something for you. And you are making this. Thing. Instead of, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, auntie. What a generation are we talking about? They are not remorseful. Mm -mm. They don't know how to be remorse. They don't know how to show remorse at all. Eh -eh. They will not show remorse and they don't know how to show remorse. May God help us. Child of God, be a kind of ch 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 Christian you want your children to be. This is what is going to happen on the last days. Here is the last days. Hey, 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 hey. Very soon. You see, you see anger of God manifested. Now that America have made the worst mistake of their life. And people are rejoicing, dancing. Hey! I look at them and say, people don't have spiritual sight. Oh. They only want what they will eat and drink presently. But let's watch out. We're dancing our music in Nigeria. We removed the Messiah and took darkness. We removed light and took darkness. Let's see what will happen. Everybody keep praying for America. America is playing a very great role in the history of the whole world. Everybody keep praying for America. Please, 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 please. Keep praying for that nation called America. Please, please pray for this nation called America. Pray. They don't know what they have done. They don't know what is happening already. May God show us mercy. Surely Antichrist will come. But we're only asking God, let's do more, let's do more before he will surely come. And before all this nonsense will begin. But look at what is happening to us now. Look at what is happening to us now. Our beloved ones are dying. Hunger is killing people. Destruction everywhere. Soon next, there will be restriction on social media and other things like that. And people are saying, yes, 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 yes. We want to eat, we want to drink. Selfish interest. Not knowing the will of God. Not knowing the will of God. The will of God might not be sweet. It might not favor everybody. It might not be, it might be extra painful. But I want to tell you, I want to tell you, I want to tell you, I want to tell you that the will of God, many children of God are sleeping. Many children of God are sleeping. Many children of God are sleeping. They are no more praying. They are no more seeking the face of the Lord. They are no more doing what? That is why the devil came and began to plant out. Bible said, while the men were sleeping, the devil came and began to plant out. Where were you? Once stubbornness was planted in your child. Where were you when the devil came and entered the executive of your ministry? 
That's what the Lord is telling me. If you're here, you're pioneering any ministry. Be very, very careful now. Even you pray with your closest. Listen to me. Even if you pray with your closest, the Lord says, spend personal time in praying again. There are things God will tell you when you pray personally. A lot of people are going to regroup themselves right now and they are going to begin to fight. The devil will use them to fight the, 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 the leaders of churches and the leaders of ministries. Especially the booming minister that is talking about holiness and righteousness of the Lord. It's going to happen. Please, don't relax. Don't relax. The Bible said in the book of Hosea, even that person close to you, don't trust him. Don't trust her. Please, please, please. Seek the face of the Lord and know what God has said about the situation before you can talk about it. Children of God, do that. And God will bless you. Number four is that they will have a strong will. Yay! Their will will be so strong. They will have a strong will. What are you saying? Ah, I thought, so since yesterday, day before yesterday, I said this thing, you've not done that, they will have a very, very, very strong will. Hey, you, you sitting in the ministry, children of God, to the, the God, the anointed, let no man remove this anointing from you. Of course, man did not give you anointing, man will not remove the anointing from you in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have broken somebody's ministry to start, go and make peace. If you have broken any church to start, soon you are going to see what is going to happen in your church. The judgment is coming and the Bible says it will start in the house of God. Every secret sin shall be judged. Every secret sin, every backyard sin shall be judged by God himself. It's going to be hard. It's going to be horrible. Teddy, may God show us mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So you pray very well with your group and people. I told people, you are not a prayer warrior. If you can only pray and end up in praying in public with people, pray alone, pray alone, pray alone. Sometimes the Lord may lead you speaking in tongues, praying for three hours, four hours, five hours alone, six hours alone, seven hours, eight hours, ten hours, twelve hours alone, 13, 14, 15, 18, even 24 hours. You are in the spirit, you are with the Lord, and God will reveal to you the secret of darkness. Look at what happened when Judas have come. Jesus said, betray us that the son of man with a kiss. There are people you feel they are close between the ministry. They are planning your downfall. There's a woman of God around here, a very strong, powerful woman of God. You know, the people around her felt that she needed, they needed to do this. She's not giving them the chance. And they started prophesying to the woman, I saw where you die. And the other one said, yes, I saw where you die. The Lord said you should prepare and come home, this and this and that. When they were, the prophecy was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people prophesying to the woman. I said, Madam, I lie you. You know they die now. Oh. <laughs> God have not said it. Oh. Look at what God showed me that the men and women that are working with you. But I say in the name of Jesus, I'm going to command the boomeranking. Oh, that is not for you to disappear. Ah! They left and the woman is still alive. After so many years, she's still alive. The prophecy that was done five, six, seven, eight years ago, that she should prepare, they were giving her one month, they were giving her death of that destruction. She thought they were together, not knowing they were not together. She thought they are people, her own people, not knowing that they are not her own people. I hear what I'm saying. They are heady people. They are heady people. Very stubborn beings. But God will show us mercy. Let me tell you, I've warned you. Don't be afraid of the happiness of the last day. Only give your life in Christ. In Him we will live, we will walk, and we will have our being. Live within the territory of holiness and righteousness. Live within the boundary of purity, cleanliness, love, and cleanliness. Just live within these boundaries. Are you hearing me? We have nothing here on earth. Anything you're holding tenaciously outside Jesus Christ, learn how to let loose. Learn how to let go. Learn how to let go that, uh, uh, that, uh, that grievances, that uh, 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 hardness of the heart. Learn how to let go. Learn how to forgive. And you forgive. Number fifth point, they go contrary. Oh, to the law of nature. They go contrary to the law of nature. That is how he did that. They go contrary to the law of nature. Everything they do must be upside down. Ah, ah, what kind of generational children are you? What kind of children of God are you? Don't you see? Somebody will wear pants. Okay, in the Americans call the Western world called trousers pants. Boxers. Because when I call pants, you may think it's trousers. Somebody will wear boxers and come to the altar and stage and be singing praises and worship to the name of the Lord. And you call it is a welcome development. No, we should not pamper sin. We should call sin sin. 
Purity must be preached. Holiness must be preached. Righteousness must be preached. All it will cause is our head. If we die now, we will not die again. Are you hearing me? Let me tell you, if you are not ready to die for the cause of Jesus of Nazareth, if you are not ready to die for what you believe, what you believe is not worth believing. If you are not ready to die for what you have preached and what you believe, it's not worth dying. Your faith is not worth believing. Yes, the truth must be preached. The apostles are talking about today, how did all of them die? This is a radical time to preach radically and talk to the president of nation and kings of the nation and great men of the nation and united nation that is number one enemy of Christian and talk to united nation. You can only do what God said you should do. You cannot go beyond the will of God. Oh, what happened to Herod will happen to you. We are not praying that you should die. We pray that you should repent. If you vow not to repent, there is a God who is a killer and who is a keeper of life. Many people don't know that God is equally a killer and keeper of life. But he said, what will, he get? What, 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 will he, what will I gain when you die? What will I gain? That's why he's prolonging your days. And you're walking in wickedness. It's time to repent. Let me quickly run on three things and we pray together. Three things I want you to know about heady people. Number one, there is hope for them. There is hope for them. Don't cause them. Are you hearing me? There is hope for them. Don't cause them. Don't say they should die. Of course, the Bible said, if you are really a child of God, if you are born again, if the truth of the word of God is living in you and the purity of the word of God, you don't live to cause people. Are you hearing me? The Bible said, bless and cause not. Bless and cause not. There is hope for them. There is hope for them. Don't cause them. Titus chapter 3 verse 3. Titus chapter 3 verse 3. That's hope for them. That's hope for them. Titus chapter 3 verse 3. Okay? For we ourselves also, we are sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lust and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. One time we were like that. One time we were like that. So, if God can show us mercy, God can show them mercy in the name of Jesus. If you have one around you, don't condemn the person. Don't destroy the person. We were one time foolish and stupid. We were one time doing more than those ones. But today, we are talking Jesus. We are preaching Jesus of Nazareth. There are hope for them. That's number two. The three things I want quickly to run before we pray together. Hallelujah. Number two is that they will not kill you. God will protect you from their hands. God will protect you from their hands. You have this kind da 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 so that they will not kill me. No, they will not kill you. They will not kill you. They will not kill you. God, the maker of human soul. God, the alpha and the omega. Okay, before we come to point two, let's still have another point. Let's still have another point. Let's still have another point in the place where I read that there is hope for them. That what we say there is hope for them. Let's they have another scripture over there. There's hope for them. Let's they have another scripture over there. That the mighty hand of God will kill them in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at what the Bible said in the book of Romans chapter 11 verse 17. To prove to you that there's hope for them. To prove to you that there's hope for them. In the book of Romans chapter 11 verse 17. And this psalm of the branch, uh, Romans 11 17. And this psalm of the branches be broken off. And that being a wide olive tree. Were grafted in among them, and with them partakers of the root and the fatness of the olive tree. Boast not against the branches, but if that boast, that bearest not the root, but the branch. We were like wild olive tree cast away, but we were brought and we were engrafted into the real olive, and today we are children of God. We were Gentiles cast away, rejected, and God showed us mercy. Don't cause, stop cursing people. That's a man of God when we are talking about some people say, those people, they will not succeed. I have caused them. Who are you? And what have they done for you? They are only mere servants. Are you hearing me? Because we are men of God does not mean we are in charge and we will we'll, we'll be lording over God's people. There are people they are affected, but God himself said, no, I love them. They might not follow you 100%. Don't cause them. Bless them. Bible said, bless and cause not. That's one man of God. A child, a, a one of his sons in the Lord wanted to, the man finished preaching and uh, he, he brought out glass and they said, I need water, I need water. People were there, one of his sons in the Lord was trying to pour water for him and uh, the man was trying to draw the glass closer and the boy was looking outside and filled the water and the water poured all over. 
the man of God. Hey, the man of God was the not. He poured the water in the call and caused the boy. Get out of my side. He caused the boy. You're stupid. You're not careful with the elders. He caused the boy. And the boy vanished. When the man of God was about dying, he couldn't die. He was being under stretch and this and that. Pian, he passed away. Church were crying and crying. After some time, the man opened his eyes. They say, hey, daddy's back. Daddy's back. I said, don't call me daddy. Don't call me daddy. He said, where is the boy? Where is the boy? They said, daddy. That day you cursed him. He ran away and said, heaven said, if I don't bless him, if I don't bring him back, if I don't look for him, go and look for that boy. Go and look for that boy. They went and looked for the boy. They said, daddy's calling. The boy was fidgeting, checking. He came. The, the man embraced him and said, you are a child of God. God made you a seed and I cast you away. I was thinking I am a great brother, brother. I'm thinking I'm the Lord of Lord. I don't know I'm a fellow servant as you are. Look at when Paul went there. When, when, when Peter went to the house of Colenus. Colenus was about to kneel down. Paul lifted him up. Uh, Peter lifted him up and said, no, I am a servant as you are. Are you hearing what I say? Man, because we are not dead, because we have grace on this one world, that does not make us Lord of our people. We are only mere servants. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are serving together. Yeah, we are all serving together. I have seen a lot of my brothers here and sisters preaching over there. The word of God powerfully. I've seen Gladys preaching on holiness. I've seen my sister Kechi Jehovah preaching on prayer and leading people to pray. Different grace is given to us. Different grace is given to us. Let's make you of different grades and then still be humble before the Lord. Do you know in heaven, the highest rank is humility. The highest unknown people are the humble people on earth. Uh, 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 on earth. There's, there, there, there's this thing around them. You know, they, 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 they have a mantle. The mantle of humility is the highest mantle. That's what Jesus took to be a humble servant here. I told God, Daddy, I don't want to be a very known man of God. I want to be a man of God that lives to do the will of God. I don't want to be known everywhere in the world and this and that. I don't want such honors. Lord, give me grace to... I want to be a man of God that does the will of God. I want to be a man of God that does the will of God. To the glory of God's holiness. So that that day I will be told, welcome. I want to get back there again. I want to see heaven again. I want to see Jesus of Nazareth and the beauty of that place again at the appointed time. Well, sometimes when I talk like the people say, is it? no, I'm not in a haste to go. But any time he determines. But it's better to go than to live here and waste time and go to hell. May God have mercy upon us. You are like, why do you live tree? You know, but today God has been grafted into the truth of the word of God. Shall we begin to pray? Okay? So God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. Number two, okay? God will protect you from their hands. Maybe you have one that is stubborn. You have one that is heady. You say, this child will kill me. Sometimes you are the one that is making that confession. This child will kill me in this house. That's one that have a child that is very, very heady. And when the child is cooking like that, the heart will do this and this and this and this and this and this and that. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Before you understand it. The woman will come back and you left everything on fire and you are playing ball. You will burn this house one day. You will burn this house one day. And the woman was confessing negatively. And one day when he came, she came back, the house was on fire. Because she used her mouth to confess it. Instead of saying, you cannot burn this house. I've told my children, you cannot run down the word of God I'm preaching. You cannot run down the gospel. It's either you join me or God will handle you in your own way. I keep telling my children, I have not told them you will run down. No, no, they cannot run down. And I decree for all of you, men of God and women of God, your children and things from around you will not run down the work of God you are doing in Jesus' name. The word of God must be preaching purity, holiness, and righteousness. No matter who dies. Is it not one life? Will you die two times? Tell them the truth of the word of God. Jeremiah was talking, they got a sense of stoning him. Peter, uh, Paul, I mean, they got into a sense of stoning him. Oh my God. Look at what happened in the book of Mark chapter 1 verse 13. Don't be afraid of them, they will not kill you. You will not die until appointed time. Look at what Jesus told them. I was with you day before yesterday in the temple. And you couldn't lay hand on me. Because your hour has not come. Now your hour has come. I decree for every man of God, every woman of God, you will not die until the appointed time of God of your life. Preach the gospel boldly without fear of man or woman. In Jesus' mighty name I decree. The last day's event will not overtake you. They will not overwhelm you. You will overwhelm them. Mark chapter 1 verse 13. And he was there in the wilderness 40 days, tempted of Satan, and was with the wild beasts and the angels ministered unto him. The angels are still ministering. 
The wild beast will be there. Devil and demon will be there. Power of darknesses will be there. They will buffet you. They will want to weigh you down. But you shall not fail. 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 In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. You will not fail. You will not fail. You will remain faithful to God. One day we will understand our story very well. You will know why you didn't get married. You will know why you didn't get married. You will know why the man you tried to do everything for disappointed and failed you. You will know why that woman walked out of your life because she born again. Do you know what is happening today? The devil is tempting every, many children of God. Their husband will leave a very fine good girl and they go and marry another one. And the lady will be tempted to go and marry another one. You don't know there are antichrists and devil and demon that was set in your life. You will know why you are not married. You will know why you pray for people. Peace will be in their life and peace is not working in your life. You will know even in your family. Don't worry. Relax your mind. God of heaven and earth is about there. You have been talking to people. You shall pray for people. And it will be having testimony. You have not have your testimony. You will have your own testimony. Just fix your mind in the Lord. Not in the gift of God, but the gift in himself, which is Jesus of Nazareth. Eh? They give her, they give her, they give her, they give her. Fix your mind on the giver and not on the gifts. Are you hearing me? I have this, I have this. You have this story building. You have all the cars. You have all this and this and that. Use them for the work of God. Jesus told that rich young ruler, sell all you have. Give to the poor and follow me. Let me tell you. Those of you that are laboring, with the little you're giving, you're sponsoring the work of God, you're sponsoring the preaching in the air and all these things, you will, if you maintain holiness to the end, if you can avoid lies, avoid impurity, avoid fornication, adultery, hatred, anger, all this, avoid them and live a clean life. By the time you will arrive at the, at the ground of heaven, on that shore, golden shore, on that place, on the living water side, come on. When the breeze of heaven shall blow on you, wah, every sort of air shall be forgotten, and you see yourself praising Jehovah. And you see yourself praising Emmanuel. And you see yourself praising the saint of the day. And you see yourself praising the great I am that I am. And you have every call to say, thank you, Jesus. I made it to the end. Thank you, Jesus. I made it to the end. Thank you, Jesus. I made it to the end. That time I was running that narrow road. That time I was running and running and running and running. By the time I got to the end, a power turned me. I was facing where I was coming from. Nobody was coming again. Nobody was coming again. 10,000 people can drop dead. Only one or two or three can make heaven at a time. So when I was told, you have run your race to the end. Nothing was found in you. Guilty. The blood of Jesus have cleansed all your sin. Something was done on me. Like a very cool, gentle breeze was done on me. Oh, mama, mama, mama. I begin to remember the preciousness of the blood of Jesus. I begin to know that that death on Calvary is a real death. When I went to Israel, I went to that place where he was crucified. I was crying. I was at the Golgotha. When I went to Golgotha, I said, Lord Jesus, years ago you came and died here for me. Let this blood not be in vain. Let this blood not be in vain. Give me grace to preach you. Give me grace to preach you. Give my brothers grace to preach you. Give my sister grace to preach you. Many of us would have been in other positions of life. But look at the way God cornered you. You left everything and you're preaching Jesus. Why some of you are still working is because if you have gotten enough, somebody that will be sponsoring you doing, you will not be working again. You will be doing the work of God. But continue. Go ahead. God is telling me there's somebody here, two people here, who are listening to my message right now. The Lord said, you are among the world and lifetime, end time gospel preachers. You are among the world renowned preacher that will preach Jesus to the end. You are among the last two. The Lord said, you are among the last two. Unction is on you now. Anointing is on you now. Glory of God is upon you. The Lord said, I will give you more boldness. Sometimes you open your Bible, you see mystery coming out of you. You don't know what where the mystery is coming from. Yeah, that is God. That is God for you. The Lord said, the door shall be opened wider for you. And then the Lord is talking to me and said, you that have anointed to preach me, and you that have given my fear in you. Yeah, keep judging yourself. You Every time you judge yourself, God said, you are judging yourself that you are not worthy. He said, but I am the Lord. I say you are worthy. I called you. Stop. Come out of yourself. The Lord said, come out of yourself now and preach me in boldness. I am the one to fulfill everything. Come on. I have called you. I begin to see 
I begin to see the door of hell, you know, widely open. And I see you walking in there, pulling souls of men. Some of them were dry souls. 20 people were packed at the time. But the moment you put them out, you put them out, life begin to come to them. God will use you to draw souls of wasted souls of men and women. God will use you to draw them back again to himself. And Christ's name shall be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Like I told you, Jesus was white beast. They could not do him anything. You will go with, some Paul said, he fought with the beast of Ephesus. And they could not do him anything. So, let me tell you, go ahead with God and the work of God. You will not die before your time. You will only be exhausted and finished. Maybe God wants you to wear the crown of life. He can then allow you to be killed. If not, you will not die. Go ahead and don't be afraid anymore. Come on, don't be afraid. You remember all your past through. The Lord said, I am the one that is leading you through. You have been betrayed a lot of time by people. But the Lord said, go ahead. I am the Lord. And finally, brethren. Oh, if they don't repent, surely, 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 they will die. Oh my God, I don't like this part. If they don't actually repent, they will die. If they don't repent, they will die. But what will God have? What gain will God have in their death? What gain will God have in their death? In the book of Hosea chapter 13 verse 8. Hosea chapter 13 verse 8. Hosea chapter 13 verse 8. I will meet them as a bear that is braved of her webs. And will rain the cold of their heart. And there will I devour them like a lion. The wild beast shall tear them. Oh my goodness. All these healthy children. All these healthy men of God. They are in the church. They hear the word. But they are not moved by the word of God. Then why are you pretending to be a child of God. When you know you cannot obey the word of God. God said he will come. Like a bear the child is taken away. Like a wounded lion he will fight. Oh my God. You can't wait the wrath of God. Though. You can't wait to meet the wrath of God. Repent now. Tomorrow might be too late. The anger of God might be too high. What you are called to do, do it right now. Stop painting yourself. Stop being who you are not. Stop pretending to be who you are not. Come out real and let the world know who you are. Be a child of God. Let me tell you, like I said before, any child of God that cannot stand Antichrist, that is still strong right now in the Lord, and cannot stand uh, the wave of the tribulation that will come. Like I, I want to let you know, God may allow the person to go. God has even said it that any child of his, that you know that will be slide in time to come, is said for now, he can take that one home. If you're a really child of God, and God knows that your strength is so small, he can take you home. And the one that are willing and alive, we march on going. I want to tell you, brethren, it will not be easy, but we shall receive more grace to go ahead. Are you hearing me? False accusation will come. Lies will come. People within you shall be used against you, but go ahead. Don't be discouraged. Don't say even my fellow brother. Don't say even the fellow preacher. No, don't say those things, sir. They are hired instruments, sir. Was Balaam not hired? He was hired. Go ahead with the work of God. Thank you so much for listening to the word of God today. By, uh, by Wednesday, we're going to continue again. Uh, past, uh, past 17 of it. You know the happenings of the last day. People will be so stubborn. When you're talking, they're talking nonsense. Before understanding, they'll plan one evil against you or the other evil. But God, the great protector. God, the great preserver. We keep you and protect you. And his name alone shall be glorified. Let's forget about our name. You can insult me. Do whatever you like me. But when you insult my Lord Jesus, I will react. Tell Damien is there anything. I am not interested. One woman finished me up. There's no name. She never called me. I never knew her from Adam. I couldn't talk to her because he's not talking about Jesus. Any day she talk against Jesus, I'll talk back to her. Tell her, shut up. Or you meet the wrath of God. Let self die. Let self die. Shall we begin to pray? Can you say, God, in any way I'm heady. In any way I'm stubborn. In any way, yeah, 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 yeah. I am destroying the work of God, thinking that I'm keeping the work of God. In any way, my action, my character, my dressing, in any way, anything about me is sending back backward the work of God. Can you begin to say, God, I'm sorry? Can you begin to say, God, look into my life, look into my life, look into my life, look into my life? Can you say, God, look into my life, look into my life, watch me, cleanse me, and purify me? My child, and I, can you begin to say, God, I don't want any healthy child, I don't want to any stubborn child, every disobedient child in my line, my womb, if you are not yet married, can you lay hand in your womb and say this womb, you will never deliver every any disobedient child, no, 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 you will never, you will never, you will never, you will never, if you are already married, 
And then you have already gotten children, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray and say, God, Lord Almighty, all my children, mention them by name. Even your spiritual children in the Lord, mention them by name and say, my King and my God, and say, my Father and my Lord, and say, the Master of our Lord Jesus, say, the Rock of Ages, the Mighty Man of Valor, I am here, I'm here. I am here, I'm here. Hey, ba 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 Can you begin to talk to God? Can you begin to talk to God? Can you say, God, help me. Let me begin to disappear. Tell God, let me disappear that Jesus will appear. Why what miracle is not happening today? Because we are ourselves. Are you talking to me? No. Come on, be dead. And you see Jesus living in you. Disappear and you see Jesus appearing again. Come low and Jesus will be up. Can you begin to pray, Lord? Call your children by their name. Anyone you have called, renown the not called. Any man, any woman, any boy, any girl you have called anywhere in the world. Say, God, I'm sorry. I withdraw the course. It shall be well with him or her. If possible, send him or her a message and say, you are blessed. I'm sorry for cursing you. You are favored and you are blessed. And then God will change our own world. There are people who kept in bondage. Do we think you keep them in bondage and go free? May God show us favor and mercy. May his name alone be glorified and praised. To him alone be other glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's pray together. Father, I begin to pray for my brothers and sisters and for myself. Father, we have seen the generation where we are into. Head, they will hurt us. They will attack us. They will do this or that other thing about us. But show us mercy to overcome. We saw them with Jesus. They had the, 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 the wild animal. With Jesus, they couldn't hurt him. Let the angel be around about us. Protect and preserve us, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. That the great grace of God will be our portion and possession. That we will live and live for God alone. That we are going to live for the master of our Lord Jesus. That the the King of King, God of God, ancient of the days that shall die, will manifest every day. That every day I begin to see myself as nothing, and as nothing, as nothing. That you begin to see yourself. That my brothers will begin to see themselves as nothing. So that pomposity will get out. So that we cannot be saying, Oh Lord, if not because of me, this wouldn't have happened. It is me that did this. Oh God, let's self go. Let self disappear. Let self be gone. And let Jesus manifest. And let the glory of God manifest in our life. That the great peace of God will come in. And Christ alone shall be glorified. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Father, Lord God Almighty, renew me, restore me. In any way my mind has told me, why is God delaying? Why can't God do it? Father, you know better than me. I might be fast and then jam anything, destruction or death. But you are slowing my pace and I'm thinking that you are, you are wasting my time. Father, I know you can not waste my time. You are training me. You are training us. You that is that God said is training you, but you want to rush. You want to rush. You want to rush. You want to rush. The Lord said that you want you. He wants to train you and you are rushing. Stop rushing. Stop rushing. Stop rushing. Do the will of God and follow the steps of the Lord. You cannot walk faster than the Lord. The Lord is guiding you. Stop thinking of yourself. There's somebody here. The Lord said, unless you stop thinking about yourself, he will not take care of you. Since you are still taking care of you, since he's still thinking of yourself, God is allowing you. How long will you waste this time? Can you say, Lord, today I surrender. Take my life and let it be. Father, possess me with the power of your might and majesty. Any unfinished part of me, any unbroken part of me, break them today and let me be totally broken and let Christ's name be on order door. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May we come back to him. Father, may we come back to you. Father, may we come back your way. I know the way is a rough way. The way is a hard way. The way is not a sweet way. But with you on our side, we can make it, O oh Lord. John the Baptist made it, we can make it. The Lord Jesus made it, we can make it. Peter made it, we can make it. Paul made it, we can make it. Lord, help us. Help us. Help us. And get the, the pomposity in our life, wickedness, unforgiveness in our heart. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. On. From this moment, may we be like newborn babies. May we be like a new beginners, oh God. And the grace of God will come in our lives. Thank you for the great answer, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I pray for your children. God will possess them. Take care of them. Put your children in the Lord. And put your children everywhere. Christ's name be on earth. Unto God be our glory. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Thank you, Father. For all you have done, I'll be your name in Jesus' wonderful name. If you're not born again, you're the most head person on earth. If you have not known Jesus as Lord and Savior, yay, you are extra disobedience, even at this hour. Do you want to love Jesus? Do you want to be born again? Can you say, Lord Jesus? I'm sorry I am a sinner. I'm sorry I've been stubborn. 
I receive you now as my Lord and Savior. Show me mercy. Forgive all my sins. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Show us mercy. Show the mercy. Forgive every sin and unrighteousness, Lord. And let the mercy of God and glory of Jesus come your way. And Christ's name be honored in you forever in Jesus' name. The grace to be a child of God be bestowed on you. May you be weak and tired over sin. And let sin no more have dominion over you. But let righteousness possess you. Now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Keep you. Until we meet again. Remember there are so many men and women of God who are preaching holiness. Keep tuning on them, tuning to their station, and keep watching and keep listening. And you will have every cause to be happy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. We've got to be here again in two days time by Wednesday. Every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Nigerian time. Now, Nigerian, most European countries are having the same time. Then Nigerian time, uh, 7 p.m. on Monday, which is today, on Wednesday, 7 p.m. Then Sunday morning, 9 a.m. We still teach different thing. On Sunday morning, the work of the Word of God. It's not the same topic we preach on Monday and Wednesday that we preach on Sunday. We pick a different topic for Sundays and go on Sunday series and go on Monday and Wednesday series. May God keep you, protect you. Those of you that have been keeping men and women of God, thank you so much. Keep on encouraging them. Sometimes men of God will be preaching and preaching and somebody will come say, Daddy, mommy, take water. You don't know what you're doing. You will not lose your reward. Drink water. You drink water and continue preaching. You will not lose your reward. In the name of Jesus, may you be fulfilled in life and let peace rule over your family. That broken marriage, the devil said, will disgrace you. I pray your husband will realize himself and come back. I pray your wife will realize himself and come back. And the great grace of God will come to you. To God be all the glory as we worship the ancient of the days. I cover in the blood of Jesus. Peace of God rule over you. God bless you. Until we meet again, Jesus loves you. So do I. It is well with you. Until we meet again, God bless you.